We're just halfway through day one of the 23rd annual Tarot, the Tag and Release Tournament, and we already have three successful tags. KC Longnose aboard the Ihunui is first on the scoreboard for a specific blue marlin estimated at 175 pounds. Just 45 minutes later, yours truly, Dick Fitz, aboard the Humdinger, matched KC with 200 points for a Pacific Blue Marlin of my own. Then King Cobra jumped into the fray by catching a rat, a local nickname they call Small Marlin. Small meaning 100 pounds or so. But hey, it still earned him 200 points. On board the Kona Blue charter boat, Dave Crawford is holding up a skipjack tuna called an Aku. This is the bait used to catch monster-sized blue marlin. It's hard to talk about adrenaline. You forget it when you're there. You just, uh, there's so much adrenaline. It's just the most exhilarating experience. It's also the most draining. After you catch one, yeah, it's tagged. And then there's so much pain. So to explain that to somebody that's never done it is kind of impossible because, you know, usually they're pulling something out of the lake. There's no chance of that little fish coming out of the lake of impaling you, you know, doing some serious damage. Wow, King Cobra's hooked up again. A Pacific Blue Marlin estimated at 200 pounds. It bit the purple salt head lure on the long rigger. BC and his crew are eager to get more points for King Cobra. He already have one tag and release. A second one will make a strong statement on day one. Dave Crawford wires the fish and Jason Holt is ready with a tag stick, which also serves as a camera stick. Dave maneuvers the fish on the port side. Looking good so far, right? I fought it like a dog for 35, 40 minutes. And then it came right up to the side of the boat and broke off the line. And I thought I was gonna have a heart attack. Oh man, it's an opportunity that slipped right through his fingers. Well, well, Captain Jeff Faye and his crew have found me a little fishy. Actually, it's more like a big fishy, a 225-pound blue marlin. After wrestling with this beast for 30 minutes, I'm glad to see Brett Fay bring this beautiful fish portside. Longtime Kona fishing veteran Butch Chi tags the fish. The fish looks healthy, and the guys here want to keep it that way. The hook is removed, the fish is released, and the points keep adding up for yours truly. five charter boats of Tart end their day and head back into Honokahau Harbor. Day one standings have me and my two Marlin at the top of the leaderboard, followed by Casey Longnose and a tie with King Cobra. Sid Fishes and Lucky Seaman will hopefully have a better day tomorrow. Four Pacific Blue Marlin tagged and released today, and it was a good day to be me. Dick Fitz had an unbelievable day. We caught two Marlin, and we had another one that uh, decided that the line was too weak and said, I need more than that. That means you can't catch him on a bait rod. <laughs> Sooner or later, he's going to find out what fishing's about. Yeah, because so I'm far, he's finding out what catching's about. He just doesn't stand a chance this week. There's not a chance. It's not going to happen. You should get over it right now. Although it's very competitive, the pressure isn't really there. The fishing's kind of secondary to fun. All participants are required to have fun. Have fun. Either have fun or you're not going to be invited back again. Anybody that complains, we just tell them to shut up. All I could say is I'm glad I lost all this weight for the trip. <laughs> <laughs>